Hi everyone, welcome to the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past walkthrough. This chapter is going to cover the uh seventh or yeah, the seventh dungeon, Gargoyle's Domain. So um now that we're outside of Skull Woods, you can just head down into the village of Outcast. Before we go to this dungeon, um this is gonna be one of the only dungeons that we're not actually getting any side quests before we go to it. So head over to the gargoyle statue pull on the picture fork and head in um this dungeon can get really annoying because it's pretty big and a lot of rooms but since you got this guide for you um don't worry just jump down um in the first chance you get and then open the treasure chest for the map uh pretty easy We'll be getting our basic dungeon items right away here. So now you got the map. Head all the way to the right and then head up and then head right and then head down. And you might turn into a bunny here. Don't worry if you do. Um, then you're just going to want to head up. I was just checking to see if I was a bunny. And you see over there. Um, I don't want... I don't want to be a bunny when I head down here. And then you can just head up the stairs there. You see the chest there? That's what we're going to get. Or what we're going for. Um, once you head up the stairs, head to the left, head down, head right, and then head up. And get the chest for the compass. Now, a lot of people will search and search for the big key. Um, just walk over to the left open the chest for the big key <laughs> doesn't seem like it should be that easy but it is now you can head back right and um, head all the way right until you can't and then head up and you're gonna wanna um, You're going to want to head up as well on the bottom part. Don't head up the stairs just yet. Now up here you can head up the stairs. And then head up and open this big key lock door. If you head all the way up here, um, the room ahead of us is seems like it has no purpose. That room is actually going to be the boss room later on. But we need to make a change to it first and we need to do a couple other things so anyways head up and take the pot at the right grab the key head down and head through the locked door on the left in this room skip or kill the enemies whatever you wanna do and then head out left And in here, these uh, these enemies can get annoying. Just for now, just dodge them. Kill the anti fairy if you'd like a fairy. But at this point in the game, I'd recommend potions more than uh, fairies, just because fairies really don't heal you that much, and potions will heal you all the way. So after that, um, head all the way up in here, and you'll see this room gets annoying as well get the pot for a key, kill the gel here and then make your way up you may have to sacrifice yourself there make sure you hit it on blue before you go up now in here, oh this is kind of annoying when an enemy drops a fairy you want to get it or do something and the enemy was against the wall so now I look like a fool trying to get the fairy, so it's annoying when that happens, but it happens. Um, these other enemies are called crickets. And um they're just the Dark World version of rats. Maybe they're li maybe they're called lizards. I can't remember. But they remind me of crickets for some strange reason. 
Um, anyways, when you head to the right, just head all the way to the right. Kill the crickets or lizards. Um, in this room, open the chest at the top for some bombs. But um, you should actually do that. I did that before, but you should actually do it after what we're going to do in this room. Because it requires bombs. And if you had full bombs before heading into this room, that chest isn't going to do you anything. So you want to bomb that cracked wall with the light on it. And it's kind of hard. This is the change we're doing to the boss room. Directly below that is the boss room. And we're just getting light into it. So, after that, that's all we have to do up here on this floor. Um, make your way back left. All the way. And then head down the stairs at the top. Um, you can look for things in these pots if you haven't already. If you're a little low on hearts or something. Otherwise, in this room, make sure you keep the um, the orb on blue. And then just dodge the spikes. I recommend going on the right side because there's less spikes there. And then head down. Now you can head to the right on the top part of this room. These enemies up here. I don't know if I mentioned that. They're called Gorias. So they were in the first Zelda title except they don't throw boomerangs in this one. This room gets very annoying. Um, Just head up. And down the stairs at the top. Um, kill the Gorias in here. The red ones shoot fire, the blue ones don't. They're very easy enemies to kill as they only take one hit. One hit. And um lift the rock or it doesn't really look like a rock. And then head down. And in this room, head to the right for now. Kill the Gorias in this room and keep heading through the locks. You don't need keys for these locks. So, um, don't do what I did and lift that, uh, pot unless you like being Bunny Link. Um, if you do lift it, just head behind and hide. Now you'll see someone that looks like one of the maidens. Well, she says, rescue me. So, now she's going to tag along for the rest of the dungeon. Now, after you saved her, you can head out through the left head left again and this room can get kind of annoying just head left again M take your hammer out immediately pawn the moles very quickly in this room open the chest and then leave these titan mitts will allow you to pick up black rocks and you see the reason we left really fast was because of the uh... was because of the Uh, floor falling. So as you're heading up, be careful of the beery here. Uh, do not go in the door on the left, as it's a trap. It's not going to lead anywhere. And if you do accidentally go in there, um, then you'll have to kill the beery in order to get back out. So head right, and then head to the top of the screen here. Um lift the pot at the top right and then head up into the boss room we need to save her before going to the boss room because um... well you'll see in a second um... with her head into the light she'll stop the music will start and she'll say ooh too bright and she'll turn into the boss blind so if you came in here um... without her you wouldn't been able to do anything anyways. Blind is actually, I think it's a fun boss battle. Um, it is pretty hard actually though. Because it gets really hectic. After you hit him, his, hit his head three times, um, it'll come off. 
and it'll start shooting these things all over the place which really really gets annoying and then it'll have two heads after that and plus a third one so you have to make your way around hitting this one and boy it's just very hectic and right here it's a close call I have one heart left I'm going quickly to get my life medicine just but I do get it just in time um I think it's very fun some people might not because it's pretty hard but uh yeah and to make things short for the YouTube time limit I'm not adding in the uh, crystal scene. So this is the end of the chapter.